Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia and today we are going to work with small weights. I have some balls here, they weigh about one kilogram, but if you just have normal one or two kilogram weights at home, they work perfectly as well. Today we are going to start sitting down. So just sit down as close to your sit bones as you can, feet on the ground, bend your knees, place your hands in front of your knees, just on your shin, Take a deep breath and on the exhale, we're just going to pull the belly away from the legs and then sit straight back up. Pull the belly away from the legs, sit straight back up. What you're looking to do here is rounding up your lower back as much as you can instead of rounding up your upper back. So don't do this. Yeah, try to engage your tummy, carving the belly out, rolling back a little bit on your butt, and then coming straight up. Just a few more times, carving the belly out, roll up a little bit, roll down a little bit, sorry, inhale up. One more, swarming up the belly area, the pelvic floor. With the next one, I'm going to bend forward. I'm going to give you two options with this one. Deep breath. As you breathe out again, carve that belly out, pull the belly away from your leg, but also bend forward. Inhale, stay there. And as you breathe out, sit up vertebrae by vertebrae. This is option number one. If your legs are a little bit more flexible and you're comfortable stretching them out, then you're going to do this version. whichever works for you better. Carving out the belly, flexing the spine. Flexing just means bending forward. Hold it a little bit, breathe into the back, and then sit up nice and tall. Let's do that two more times. Really warm up that tummy by engaging it, pulling it in. Also warm up your back by letting it stretch forward as much as possible. Sitting back up tall. One more time. We're also going to do a few spine twists. You can stay this way if that's comfortable to you or go back to the level one option. I'm going to stay like this. Hands to the back of your head. Take a deep breath. As you breathe out, you're going to turn to the side. Inhale back to center and then turn the other way. Beautiful. Feel like you're growing a little bit taller every single time you turn around. Feels good. Remember, you can be this way too. Two more. Lovely. Now everybody come back to this position and now we're going to grab those weights and get to work. So we're going to take the C curving that we did warming up a little bit further back, but the principle is the same. You really want to feel your tummy firing up, working for you. Also pulling your pelvic floor up into your tummy and the tummy up into your rib cage, closing the rib cage. So let me just show you this movement without weights first, because this is where it's all what it's all about. So again, the goal is rounding up here, not here. This one is gonna do it anyway. It doesn't really make a difference if you're trying there. So don't hunch, just round up the lower back. And we're gonna add some bicep curls, deep breath, Roll down, carving out the belly, bend your arms, stretch, and sit up tall. Rolling down, carving out the belly, bend, stretch, and straight up. So far, so good. Make sure that your shoulders are not doing this. Not popping up here, it doesn't look good, does it? Also, you don't want to make, you don't want to drop your elbows down here. When you're doing your bicep curls, that's a different situation. It just makes it easier. Roll down, keep the elbows shoulder level, bend, stretch, 
and sit up harder, isn't it? Roll down, carving out the belly. Bend, stretch, sit up. Three more. Two. One more time. Roll, bicep. Keep your arms straight, twist and reach. Nice and straight arm, but not locked. By locked, I mean this, pin straight. You don't want that. You're just putting a lot of pressure on your joint if you do that. A little bit soft. Four more. Four. Oy, oy, oy. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. And I'm going to roll down, bend my arms into a 90 degree, really carving my belly out, keeping that C curve, and open to the side, back to center, the other way. If you want to take this to level two, you can lift one leg up into tabletop like this. Coordination. If it's too much, you can just do the upper body. Eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. My arms are falling off. Next one's gonna be a real burner. I'm really gonna challenge your abdominal connection and stability. We're gonna again carve that belly out. C curve, roll down a little bit, pick up your weights. We're gonna pick the legs up into tabletop position and the arms up right here. And I'm gonna work on the same side, drop the big toe and my fingers and lift down and lift and keep carving the belly so you don't want to drop into the lower back doing this see there's a lot of pressure on everything where there shouldn't be pressure so make sure you're carving pump 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 up and down and up and four three two one lovely Jack knives. You're going to place the balls together close to the chest. I'm going to open and close. Open and close. If this is too much for you, you're more, more than welcome to put these down, hands either on the side, or if that's still too much for you, hands at the back. Perfectly okay. Do whichever option you can do. And three, two, one. And I'm going to twist. Twist and center. Notice how the balls are not moving away from my chest. And four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, coming up to a kneeling position. Right there. I am about hip distance apart. As you can see, you definitely don't want to go closer than that for stability. So feet hip distance apart for a lot of stability. And we're gonna sit down on those heels to begin with. Arms in a 90 degree on your sides, elbows nice and tight beside the waistline. I'm going to push it out straight forward, squeeze my booty and pull it back down. Pushing the arm out straight on the shoulder level, not too high and back down. As you're going up, Zipping up the tummy and cracking a diamond between the butt cheeks. That's what it should feel like. And sitting back down. One more like that. Now we're going to add the next step into it. I'm going to go up the same way. Stay there. Open my arms to the side. Forward. And sit back down. Forward. Squeeze that booty. Open to the side. Return and down this is your breathing pattern if you want to follow that if the breathing gets you way too confused that's okay you don't have to follow it just breathe however you can just try and breathe deeply love it two more and push, squeeze that booty, zip up your tummy. Open, stay tall. And back one more time. S -s 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 
I'm not even gonna go back down anymore. We're gonna be leaning back, stay as straight as you possibly can, and forward. And leaning back, zip up the tummy. You don't wanna be like this, but you also don't wanna be like this. Straight, zip, squeeze as hard as you can. Harder the better. And straight. And feel like the crown of your head is growing away from your knees. I'm a bit too wide here, I'm gonna fix it. Lean back, adding the bicep curls, aye, aye, aye. Lean back, curl, stretch, forward. Yes, we are going slow because that makes it harder, not easier. You would think slow is easy. In most cases, it's not. In some cases, yes, if you're running, obviously. But in Pilates, 90% of the time, slow makes it harder. Whew, my arms are falling off. Holy schmoly. Pump, chest up, shoulders down. I'm afraid we have three more. One, two, three, four, two more, two, three, four, one more time. Two, three, four. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, getting down on your side. And you're only going to need one ball right now. Lay down in a way where if you bend your knees, your heels are in line with your butt. The bottom arm is stretched down. Put your head on that. And try to pick up your waistline a little bit off the mat as much as possible, engaging the tummy and closing your rib cage. This area right here, so you don't want to look like this. You want to look a bit more like snatched. The ball or your weight, whatever you have at home, is in the hand on the top. Reach the arm out forward. And I'm just going to show you the arm first. We're going to lift the arm up to the back. And you have to make sure that it feels like you're lifting it with your back muscles. If you lock your elbow, just like I explained in the beginning of the video, if you completely lock your elbow, stick straight like that, then you're going to lift the weight with your joint, and that's not great for you. It doesn't make you stronger, and it may even end up injuring your body. So soft elbow like that, a little bit of softness. It doesn't mean you want to, it doesn't mean you want to bend it. Just a little, see that? You want to lift your back, and we're going to add the legs. Hold that waistline. Your knee, you only want to lift it as high as you don't tilt the hips back like that. Imagine you have a wall behind you, and you only lift your knee as high as the wall lets you do that. Oh, two more. I can feel my back, also my glutes. Coordination. Lift, stretch the legs, swing the arm, bring everything back, and down. So again, one, two, three, four. Keep going. Keep your shoulder out of your neck. So when you swing it up, you don't want to look like this. You see that? Push it down there. I don't know where I am right now. And down. Up, watch the shoulder. Two, three, four. If you're doing it correctly, it's not even close as easy as it seems. It should be pretty hard if you're doing it right. Two, three, and four. Give me two more. Up, two, three, and four. One more round. One, two, three, four. Now, starting from here, this position, we're gonna bend the elbow and the knee, bring them together as close as possible, and push. You can see that I'm still holding my waistline here off the mat, right? Four, five, oy, 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 six, seven, and now we're gonna add the side crunch to this. Crunch and down. 
crunch and down. Three, yes you can, don't give up. Four, I know it's hard, but you got this. Five, six, seven, whoo, eight. Good work. Bring it down, chain side, same. Lay down on this side so that when you bend your knee, your heels are in line with your sit bones. Stretch the arm down, put your head down on that. Pick up your little waistline off the mat. Shoulders, both of them, away from the ears. Stretch your arm forward. Hold that tummy for me. Close your rib cage and lift and lower. Beautiful. Just like I explained on the other side, when you lift your arm, try to lift it through your back muscle. Six. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seven. Eight. Coordination. Up. Stretch and swing. Back and down. Keep pulling your shoulder back, also down, away from your neck. Palm, 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 palm. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, I forgot my knee. Three more. Three. Two. One. Awesome. And now we're gonna stay up here. Stretch it out. Knee and elbow and push. Two. Three. The higher the knee, the better. And five. Six, seven, side crunch and crunch and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. One more. Eight. All right. Good job. You can twist back a little bit. Great. Bring it over to the other side. All right, we are going to finish up by snatching up the back muscles and your shoulder blades. You're going to need both of your weights again. Lay down on your tummy. And first, we are just going to do this without the weights. We're going to practice the form a little bit. So we're gonna squeeze that pubic bone down into the mat, kind of like you're pinning a pin down. Tip of your nose is on the ground, and the arms are reaching and elongating back straight. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling, and I would love your hips to be nice and long and straight. Picking up your belly button a little bit into your lower back, that always happens. Here, all I'm going to do is lift my arms up, hip level, and down. Lift it, reaching back, and down. Lift, and down. Reach it back, and try to keep the tip of your nose on the mat while you're doing that. Now, this is your level one. If you feel like this is already challenging to you, perfectly fine. You can keep doing this, or Go with your weights, pick them up, and this is going to be nasty, guys. This is going to be nasty. We're going to lift and lower, and the tip of my nose is still on the floor. Pulling up that belly button, reaching the arms back, and pushing the hips down. Great, now I'm gonna do this one by one, one at a time, and then swap. Lift and swap, reaching back, lift and swap. And now to challenge you a little bit, I'm gonna add an opposite leg side lift. Right arm, left leg, and down. 
left arm right leg and down. pump just a small tiny lift in the leg you don't need to overdo it pump 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 two more lift lower lift all right combination i'm gonna lift my chest and my face arms arms back down face down face and chest first arms arms down face down ay 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 one two my arms are reaching back to my toes as, as much as possible chest arms arms down face down two more one more time you can see that i'm not lifting high don't go there that's not what it's about my ribcage is fully down on the mat and now i'm going to make it a little bit harder and i'm going to reverse so what that means is i'm going to lift my arms first then my chest then my chest goes down and then my arms go down this is a little bit harder arms up first chest chest down my arms are still up arms down oh my goodness this is gonna do it can you feel that strong back strong scapulae one more time you can do this Whew, sorry i got confused arms face face arms and now the last challenge we're going to stay up both arms and upper body again rib cage is fully down and i'm just going to move my arms down down and lift two squeeze your butt three always tummy and butt always on five six seven eight nine ten and down good job Whew. I could feel that. All right, let's stretch it out a little bit. Sit on your heels and just allow the shoulders, the neck, and the back to stretch out a little. Breathe into your back. And as you're breathing out, try to breathe the tension out. One more deep breath. And as you breathe out, sit up, vertebrae by vertebrae. And this was it for today. I'm sure you have done amazing, guys. Well done. This was a challenge for me too, for sure. I will see you at the next one. Have a great week. Bye.